What's up anglers and welcome back to another episode. We are at the uh, historic power plant and uh, we're gonna run down here. This used to be a hot water discharge down here that used to run when the power station was running. This building opened in 1927 I believe and it closed in 2012 and it used to have the hot water discharge down here so naturally the locals called this the hot wall. So there's still a dam down here, but there's no longer a hot water discharge. But the fish still congregate here, and there's a lot of them. So let's get down here and get to fishing. Let's hook them. small dam but it does hold a lot of fish we have made it very nice looking area here oh son's got a catfish out there already <laughs> oh and we almost got a fall on camera we have a ton of minnows in this hole. Oh, I just seen some smallmouth jumping in the discharge there, so let's get fishing. There we go. We got a bigger gill coming in. Oh, that's healthy. Yeah, that's a healthy one. A little deep in there. I brought one of my favorite bank fishing rods. I got the Tsunami Barrier 2. It's one of my saltwater rigs, but I love it for bank fishing for catfish. It just wings them out there. So let's get this one out. Basically got a punch rig on. Got a, get that scale off there. It's got the body section of that fish. Two ounce weight right above the hook. Just want to get it out there, get some distance. Seems like there's a lot of structure out there. So we're going to try to keep the weight and the hook in the same area. Punch rig works really good for that. And it gets it. So now let that weight set on the ground, let a little bit of line out, that way it separates just a little bit, and we'll put it back in the rod holder. And hopefully we'll have a fish on here soon. Come on. Little baby taps aren't gonna work. Got him. Another healthy gill, little green sunny. Oh no. Get him back, we don't need him yet. Once we're out of our bait for the cat rod, we'll keep one more. They're hitting good, you just gotta. Yep. Got a reel with them. Let it sit, they want to take it off the hook. Alright, there is a nice, nice little gill. Looks like, yeah, nice little blue gill. Yeah, no matter how used to are you how used to it you are for catching bigger fish this stuff's still fun whenever the bites off and, oh oh yeah it's something bigger that time and 
slow reel. Oh, see, they are slick. Almost got me. Almost. That's all right. We're gonna get you this time. Oh, got a little one. Yeah. Barely bigger than the hook. What are you doing trying to eat that? That would actually be a really nice uh, size for bass. Yeah, we're gonna live rig him for bass. Let's see. All right, we got this bluegill kind of drop shot styled. Got a one and a half ounce, so he can't go anywhere in this current. And about 12 inches up, he's there, still alive. So we're gonna put him out in between these two boils and just see if there's any bass lurking down there. We're gonna let it hit the bottom and keep the line somewhat tight. That way he stays in the middle of that water column there. If anybody's questioning this tactic, it's worked before, I've done it. So. We'll see what happens. All right, we're changing this tactic up here too. We got much more worm on our trout magnet here, and we got a large bobber up here. We're not really bobber fishing. I got this about 14 inches high. The water out there should be around 12, so it'll be sitting on the bottom. This is mainly for casting distance. I want to get it out into that calmer stuff and just see what happens. Yeah, we got much more distance that way. It looks like it immediately got hit. Yep, it did. It's gone under. And it's something bigger. Something a little bigger. Not too big. It was just fighting hard. That didn't take long. And we have a goggle. That's what we wanted. We'll keep him alive in the hamper and get it back out there. We got a boil here in front of us. We got current going that way. We got current going this way and essing around this island out here. So you got calmer stuff in front. It's sunny. It's just one of them things. Let's give it a try. Change it up, just think. It got hit again immediately. It, it's gone down. Whoa, this, this feels a little bit larger. I don't know if it's because we're pulling and current. Oh, he came off. That's okay. That's all right. Oh, boy's got another catfish on. Yeah, he's got it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. <laughs> Try again. We'll get him this time. I mean, obviously, I could go out down there and stand on the wall. And oh, we got one. Get a little closer, but I, I want to be by my other rod. So wow, pretty good size green sunfish there nice size one not bad get him back we got enough bait for now I don't care who you are it's fun. under again good just like that swimming hard too you just never know. Oh, guys, I think something swimming with our cat rod or... Oh, he got off. Right at the surface. Let's go check the cat rod. Is it... Yeah, it's definitely moving. Let's check. Nope, oh, nothing there. The current just took it down a little bit. Let's see if our bait's still on there anyway. It has been a little while. Oh, our bait is gone. 
we'll get another piece of cut on there. Check our live fish. Oh, we got a fish on. We got a cat on. I figured I didn't see it bump too hard, but we got a cat on the live drop shot rig. <laughs> Now, any of you all that were questioning that, it works. And we weren't expecting the channel, but it happens. It's a little guy, but it's a fish. It is a fish. That's just a little, little circle hook here, guys. Slightly whisker hook. We're gonna try to save your whisker here, bud. Young juvenile channel. Still got a spot. But hey, it's a fish. But today it's a fish. After the night we had last night flathead fishing, we'll take what we can get. Our live bait's a little too big, so let's see if we can try to catch a smaller one. Throw in this stuff here. There's got to be a smaller one nearby. Maybe out there. Maybe out for. Oh! Hey, don't do that. Don't close your bail on yourself. That's rookie stuff. I'm not a professional by any means. But. Stay biting, stay pent. Got him. Got him that time. Hopefully this is a smaller one we can put him on the live rig. I think it is. Yeah, it's, yeah, that'll work. There are definitely bass out there that will eat you. Well, bass eat all kinds of them, but quick easy meal that'll work let's get our live bait out here put it right on this current seam again oh hopefully we can get us a big bass this time we will see minnows are swimming up everywhere I know you guys can't see it but so many. I mean, I could try to show you just in this corner over here how many minnows there are. I mean, if you can see that, that's literally like this entire area right now. We keep fishing. Let's get it back out, way out there. Oh, we got one on. It's under. It's under. It's under. It's under. Little one. Little one. Oh, it just come off. All right, guys. We are back at the vehicle. We didn't do too bad. We caught some fish. Didn't really expect to catch anything big. This was just one of those trips where we just wanted to get out there and fish. So, you know, whether you're catching a 60-pound fish six pound fish or even a six ounce fish sometimes it's just fun to get out and enjoy the outdoors get some fishing in so this is your reminder to get up get out and get hooked thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one